My name is Isaac Keze. I am 13 years old. I stay in the Bafo community with my parents. I have two sisters and one brother. Monday to Friday, I go to school. I go to school with the school bus every day because the school bus always take us to school and bring us back. I enjoy driving with the school bus. Ibafo is one of several settlements along the lagos Ibadan Express Road in southwestern Nigeria. Like most underdeveloped communities, it lacks basic infrastructure and social amenities necessary for the residents to live a normal life and as always, children are the most affected. Children living in poverty are deprived of essential materials, conditions and services which are generally held to be essential to the development of a child's full potential. Most of these children cannot afford basic education and the free educational program of the inner city mission is their hope for a better future. There are millions of adults today who grew up without an education because they didn't have the opportunity and they have become a burden to society. But with the Inner City Mission Educational Program, we are reaching out to the indigent child that is that child who has no opportunity or chance to be educated. There are many of them who don't even have access to come to school, but the Inner City Mission Nursery and Primary School has a school bus which goes to the inner cities to pick the children from their homes and brings them to school. I get to school early because I eat breakfast in the morning and I eat lunch in the afternoon and also take dinner home. The inner city mission nursery and primary school is specially designed to cater for children who cannot afford to go to school and have given up hope for an education. In addition to free tuition, Pupils get school supplies, uniforms, books, Medicare, and meals absolutely free. We currently have over 350 registered pupils with several who have graduated from primary and are now in secondary school. I was living happily with my parents until my dad lost his job. Things became very difficult for us. My dad could no longer provide for the family. We stopped going to school. My dad later abandoned us. My two brothers and I were left helplessly with my mom. We had to start walking on the streets to get money to buy food until I came in contact with the inner city mission. I was taken to the inner city mission home where I was provided with everything. I was sent back to school. I'm now in GS1. Amongst other initiatives of the inner city mission educational program, the Bridge Program is a unique initiative. This initiative helps children who at some point of their life have been forced to get out of school. Some have been like never ever been to school before. They don't know how to read, they don't know how to write. The Bridge Initiative helps the children to be able to learn the basics of education and then helps them gradually to be integrated back into the mainstream school. School has closed for today. I'm going home with my brother and sister to see my mom. I'm very happy. I never see a school that put children free, will not pay school fees, they give them back, school uniform, Food, everything, school bus, everything free. I never see. The partners of the inner city mission, I thank you. God will bless you. God will be with you. God will be with your family. Anything you desire, God will do it for you, as you do for me and my children. Many times when we hear that there's a free service, usually it's substandard. But with the inner city mission, educational program, this is not the case. The quality of education that the children are given is top-notch quality. And this is why your partnership with the Inner City Mission Educational Program is very important. With our partnership, we can reach children, we can build them up, and we can be confident that we're raising children who will be responsible citizens of society. 
Where I go up, I want to become a mechanical engineer. The Inner City Mission is committed to making Isaac's dream a reality and you can be a part of it today.